What is up? I am back. It's the same day, like 20 minutes later. I'm out in Aurora by my brother's place. I have not just popped up yet. I don't know if we'll be back from work yet. Um, but I'm on this like backcountry road. So I figure, you know what? I never give you guys any of these. So let's just give you a little semi-scenery. If you can call this scenery, I don't know. No. No. That isn't what I wanted. Fisherman's in. Now that's exciting. Now I had told myself I was going to put this in full power mode until I get my first service. Because it'll kind of be like riding another bike. Maybe. I'm kind of hoping it's like a whole new rush at that top end. Um, so I told myself I'd wait. But it, on these roads I'm real tempted. Oh, I just want to go. Maybe that'll be my topic for my mode of vlogging people. Does everybody rise? Maybe everybody has an opinion on it. What are your opinions on going fast in the straight line? I know most riders, you know, like going around in the twisties, which I enjoy. I more enjoyed for the scenery aspect, to be honest with you. I understand the feel of, you know, getting a good turn, you know, reading it the right way, getting that speed in. I, I like that. It's a great feeling, don't get me wrong. But I also think that's, that's just a place for the track. I mean, if you're going to be an aggressive rider like that on the streets and you fuck up, I mean, that ruins your day and potentially several others, including riders that you're riding with, you know? That being said, now that I got this butte, I really enjoy that extra power. I mean, I think going fast in a straight line is very exhilarating. Um, that being, I mean, I don't... I think I mentioned it before a little bit, but I'm not one to just, you know, go 120 and just like weave in and out of traffic. You know, I'm someone who's gonna go like 135 and then just right back to the speed limit. And yeah, it's kind of like a little kid playing with a ball. I just get a lot of enjoyment out of nothing there. Yeah, which is great. Like I can literally occupy myself for hours. And if you told a parent that, hey, I got this simple solution for your child and you will be occupied. You can do whatever you want. You'd be like all for it. So if I was your child, give me a fast bike and I'm sound as a pound. I guess we'll call out a couple people then. So the question is, do you enjoy going fast in a straight line or do you think it's overrated? I'm hoping we get several different answers based on your experience. You know, it seems like the more experienced riders have already been there, done that, and they're like, you know what, if people want to go fast, I get it, I was there, but now I'm just all about being on two wheels no matter how fast I'm going. You know, which I get. Don't get me wrong, I love the scenery, I love just riding, but while I'm riding, if I can go a little fast, get that heart going, and then go right back down, I'm, I'm in my happy place. Happy Gilmore style. Chubbs wants me to be happy. If Chubbs wanted me to be happy, He'd say, go fast in a straight line. And I'd say, by golly, Chubbs, you are right. I will. Thank you. Let's hear your opinions out there. Two that I'll call out. I'm going to call out my buddy Strike on Two Wheels, who I was with all this weekend. And I'm also going to call out Ghost Ninja, who we have I have not actually met, but I he is on a forum um, that I am a part of. So I'm going to call him out, but he probably won't know because odds are he doesn't even look at my shit. Why would he, you know? For you guys who watch my content, I don't know what you guys are, you guys must not have a lot going on. Yeah, so Strike on Two Wheels and Ghost Ninja. You're up, and if you just fast forward us to the end, like I assume you did, you know. Talk of discussion is, do you enjoy going fast in a straight line, or do you think it's overrated? Now, unlike, uh, unlike Goatfather, I don't know if my topic's gonna necessarily have enough to talk about. People are just gonna be like, no, and that's gonna be the end of their vlog. Which they did what they needed to, and I got my answer, and I'm happy. But I'm sure they'll hopefully share experiences, thoughts. Have they gone fast? Well, maybe they haven't gone fast and they don't know. Who knows? I bet you if you stay tuned, though, you will find out. So, you gotta make sure you stay tuned for all that. 
And like I said before, all Moto Bloggers mentioned, they will have their link in the description. And maybe I'll just put them like here, 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 anywhere. That's from Aladdin, for those who don't know. A little Robin Williams at you. If I was really good at editing, I'd, I'd do that, but I don't, so it won't be there. You look it up on YouTube, and then come back to this channel, and then finish watching it. Maybe it'll, it'll add a little something to it. So yeah, you guys are on the clock. This has just been a treat. Oh, I really don't know where I am. I think I'm still in Aurora. I don't know. I don't know a big Aurora. I don't know the surrounding cities are Aurora, so I'm just going to assume that I'm in Aurora. What does that say? Don't pass school buses. It's BAD. 45? I think this is where I was earlier. That's good. Good. We're backtracking nicely. Um, all right, guys. That'll pretty much do it. All right. Now I'm just, now I'm just rambling. Not just to waste your time. I'm probably doing some fun right now, and you guys are just sitting, maybe, maybe in bed, waiting to turn on another video. But instead, you're just listening to this nonsense, hoping there's something good at the end. There's not. I'm let you right know there, there is nothing good at the end. You should just stop now. Still here, huh? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, maybe... No, there won't be anything good. All right, boys and girls. We'll catch you on the next one. Driving in my car, beep beep. That was just a great, great road. My goodness, that was good. Galena Boulevard. Add it to the memory bank. And we're done. Peace out, bitches.